Hello and warm welcome to all of you dear brothers and sisters, viewers of Marjayat TV. You're with us with our episode of program Marjayat Horizon. Stay tuned, watching news all regarded the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussaini Shirazi. The Central Office of the Grand Islamic Authority and Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi holds series of ceremonials to commemorate the memory of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. These ceremonies, which are held at the presence of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, host scholars, distinguished figures, and all groups of believers. In addition, offices and Islamic centers dependent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in different parts of the world held ceremonies to mark this sad occasion. I wake up to find you have left, oh Father My tears drip down and they flow like a river Please come back, I ask you by our Creator I have never been away from you ever I miss your scent and kiss, O oh son of Haida. And my name is the sweet name of your mother. You've given me this name, and you I do not blame. Your mother, she loved you, and my love is the same. You've given me this name and you I do not blame Your mother she loved you and my love is the same Your words I want to hear You leave me with my tears And leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken You take all the children you take all the women So why did you leave me? And leave my heart broken You leave me alone here You leave me with my tears And leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken I stand and wait at my door for your return you left me but to call the other children With every passing day I feel my heart burn I long to kiss you, your warmth is what I am You are my rose, my flower and my vision Without Hussein, to who am I left to turn? I'm surrounded by night, Father you are my light I live in a shadow, without hearing or sight I'm surrounded by night, Father you are my light I live in a shadow without hearing or sight I long to hold you near You leave me with my tears And leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken You take all the children You take all the women So why did you leave me? Tells me, oh, my rose, why are your eyes wet? I tell him your absence, my heart can't accept. My father, every night at your side I've slept. I've never met anyone like you I've met. 
Your hand in my hand always I would have cared Every day I was apart from you I've worked He tells me oh young one It is God's decision That you must be left here And live life an orphan He tells me oh young one It is God's decision That you must be left here And live life an orphan I tell him I can't bear You leave me with my tears And leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken You take all the children Zahra, why would you leave me? Since my birth every day you have been near me He tells me, oh, my star death approaches me You remind me of my mother, it hurts me But I tell him I don't care if death takes me Let me die beside you, Father, please let me With you and your body, please let me be buried Together we will die, this will make me happy With you and your body, please let me be buried Together we will die This will make me happy My loneliness I fear You leave me with my tears And leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken You take all the children You take all the women So why did you leave me? Leave my heart broken. You leave me alone here. You leave me with my tears. I leave my heart broken. I leave my heart broken. You took with you my brothers, sisters, and all. I wish the skies both day and night on me fall. Your mother cried out between the door and wall My father I cry out to the same call I cry when she mirror over your next dance door I shed tears when Zainab cries in Yazid's hall I cry when the arrows Make my father's blood flow They take Hussein away Leave me with his shadow I cry when the arrows Make my father's blood flow They take Hussein away Leave me with his shadow Your shadow I hold it You leave me with my tears and leave my heart broken And leave my heart broken You take all the children You take all the women My tears drip so down and then they flow like a river Please come back, I ask you by our Creator I have never been away from you ever I miss your scent and kiss, oh son of Haida And my name is... In the world that we live in today We need the love and the compassion that this man brought forth for humanity The humbleness that this man had 
Just like Jesus used to wash the feet of his disciples, Imam Hussein used to serve the people around him. One narration tells us one day as he was passing by, a group of poor people, destitutes, who were eating crumbs of bread. They told him, can you join us? Now what would you do if a group of beggars, people, destitutes, they're having crumbs of bread, that's their lunch, and they invite you. Even if you want to be polite, you would say, you know, it's okay, thanks, maybe some other time. This great man, despite his position, he sat with them and he ate those crumbs of bread with them. And then he invited them over to his house because he was a humble man who cared for everyone in the world. We learned from the message of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. On the night of Ashura, which is the day in which he became martyred mercilessly by the evil tyrant of his time, one of the companions of the Imam by the name of Nafi' ibn Hilal, he says, I saw Hussein doing something on the ground in that dark night, plucking something from the ground. I approached him, I told him, Oh Hussein, what are you doing on this dark night? Please come back to the tent. The enemies will harm you. The Imam salam, he told him tomorrow, the kids and the women, when they will be attacked and when the tents will be set to fire, they will be running in this desert, in this area, and there are a lot of thorns on the ground. I want to remove those thorns so those kids, their feet would not bleed. This is the compassionate heart of an Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Today there are millions of kids suffering. They're traumatized by war, they're displaced. Let's take this love of an Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and pr protect these children. Thousands of children are being orphaned every week, every month. We have to do something, respected people. Let us uphold the message of this man, the message of freedom, the message of honor, and the message of dignity. Because he teaches us that if you live without dignity, this life is not worth living. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. And with one loud voice, let us shout out the name of the... I express my condolences to the awaited Savior, Imam Ali, the greatest scholars and their followers for the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. This is the religious committee of the servants of Imam Hussein in the holy city of Karbala in Iraq. Our activities include distributing lunch and dinner every day, starting on the first day of Muharram and ending on the tenth day of this month. We also provide pilgrims with places to rest and sleep. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad and his pure descendants. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am a eulogist of the Alul Bayt and my name is Nizar and I am from Karbala. I want to talk about this religious committee, which is named the Tent. Many religious committees were later established in this area of the holy city of Karbala. This religious committee starts its activities days before the beginning of the month of Muharram. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, and he who venerates the way marks of Allah, surely it is from the piety of the hearts. The holy city of Karbala in Iraq has always been a place to practice the rights of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. What differentiates this city from other sacred cities in Iraq is its religious ceremonies, which are held in more than 16 occasions.
In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful. My name is Nizar Tamimi. My great-grandfather established this religious committee. After my father's demise, I took charge of this committee. A decade ago, our committee was smaller. Thank God, with the blessings of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, we were able to expand our committee to what can be witnessed nowadays. <laughs> In the name of Allah, the Compassion of the Merciful, this is Lady Zainab Religious Committee. It was established in 1970 in the capital Baghdad. Many of the co-founders of this committee have been deceased. I find it my duty to pay homage to them. May they all rest in peace. Even though the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi lives in the holy city of Qom in Iran, but we receive the advices and the words of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi through his representatives, we have followed the guidelines of the late Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, may he rest in peace, in the past. And now we follow the guidelines of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, may God prolong his life. <laughs> In the name of Allah, the Compassion and the Merciful, and he who venerates the way marks of Allah, surely it is from the piety of the hearts. Peace of Almighty Allah be upon Imam Hussein, his children and companions, who continued his mission in his absence. I am one of the servants of Haidaria Religious Committee in Holy Karbala. This committee was established in 1935. This makes it one of the oldest in this city. Mr. Shah Sayyid. In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful, and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad and his pure descendants. If we look through the history, we will never come across any person who was oppressed and groaned as much as Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful, and he who venerates the waymarks of Allah, surely it is from the piety of the hearts. My name is Sayyid Ali Juzairi, one of the servants of Abdullah Radli Religious Committee. This committee started working in 2003. Thank God we are now able to provide facilities for the pilgrims of Imam Hussein all day long. We also distribute food for the pilgrims three times a day. During the grievous month of Muharram and with the approach of Imam Hussein martyrdom, the concerns for the safety of the Shia Muslims in different parts of the world have escalated dramatically. Some Shia gatherings have been targeted by terrorists in just a few days past the month of Muharram and therefore ISWF warned of these attacks and demanded the Islamic governments to take up their moral and legal responsibility and provide security to their Shia citizens. Yeah. 
Imam Shirazi World Foundation expressed its condemnation for the terror attacks that led to the martyrdom of some Shia Muslims in Saudi Arabia. Following this deadly incident, Imam Shirazi World Foundation demanded the Saudi authorities to admit their legal and moral responsibility in providing safety and freedom of religion for its citizens. ISWF also demanded the Saudi government to take serious measures against armed terrorist groups and the spread of extremist ideology in this country. Imam Shirazi World Foundation released this message shortly after it received the news of a terrorist attack on some Shia citizens, which resulted in the martyrdom of some innocent Shia Muslims whose sincere belief in Prophet Muhammad and his beer household, peace be upon them all, makes them targets for the terrorists. Reports indicated that five citizens, including a woman, were martyred and six others were injured when terrorists opened fire on a Husseini site in the province of Katif and a mosque in the province of Dammam, east of the country. This is while Shia Saudi citizens are commemorating the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon them, and the day of Ashura in different Husseinias and mosques. ISWF condemns all such attacks and demands the Arab and Islamic countries to confront terrorist groups, abide by international laws, and provide security and freedom of religion for the Shia citizens of these countries. In the end, this foundation prays for the recovery of the victims and patience for the families of the martyrs. Sheikh Zaki al Bayati is a representative of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi and a religious activist in Sweden. This representative of the Grand Jurist has always been involved in a series of various cultural and Islamic programs in order to portray the real face of Islam and the Holy Ahl Bayt, peace be upon him, in Swedish people. In a phone call with Sheikh Zaki al Bayati, he will explain more of his activities in this European country. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عظم الله جوركم وتقبل الله عمالكم إن شاء الله ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى التوفيق In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. May Allah accept your deeds. And may Allah help all those who love Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. I would like to tell you that commemoration ceremonies for Imam Hussein's martyrdom are held throughout Sweden. These commemoration ceremonies are held in Stockholm, Malmo, Gothenburg, Helsingborg, and many other cities. In these ceremonies, lectures are given by respected scholars, followed by eulogies, chest beating, and serving meals. Sometimes scenes from Karbala's tragedy are recreated in these programs. For preparation of these mentioned ceremonies, many mosques and Husseinias are covered with black clothes. As the beginning of this month, the month of Muharram, different religious delegates are sent out throughout the country. Their purpose is to serve Islam and Imam Hussein's movement. Besides sending out religious delegates throughout the country, the Office of the Grand Jurist also aided many Islamic centers in the country. Thank to Allah, we were able to invite and hold a meeting with different religious scholars in Stockholm in Al Huda organization. This meeting was attended by many guests, including the special guest Hajj Attar. In this meeting, we discussed how the youth can be more connected to Islam and Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. In this meeting, we tried figuring out ways to involve the youth more in religious activities. We all agree that one of the ways to have an active Muslim youth is through running a blood donation campaign. In this blood donation campaign, young Muslims donate their blood to Sweden's National Blood Bank. The donation campaign will be held after the month of Safar. We had a talk with one of Sweden's National Blood Bank representatives. They show their consent and approval. This blood donation campaign is called Who's Hussein? Many youth so far have registered for this campaign. One of the goals of running this campaign is to introduce Imam Hussein to the world. As we know that blood is one of the most precious things in human body and is vital for existence of human beings. The Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sad Sadiq Shirazi has encouraged us for such activity. Also, one of our activities was that we held a special conference for Afghani religious preachers. Many respected scholars have attended this meeting. In this meeting, different religious books have been distributed, all with the aim and purpose of better helping these preachers. According to our estimations, there are about 40 to 45 Islamic centers in Sweden that are run by Afghan Muslims. Through these acts, we are fulfilling the grand jurist request of introducing Imam Hussein to the world. The world slowly started to understand Imam Hussein and the causes of his movement. The rituals that are related to Imam Hussein's movement are now more understandable than before. May Allah send his blessings upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad.
Through all the history, the landmark in uprising of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, has been a ship of salvation and a light of guidance. In recent days, and simultaneously with the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, a young Canadian citizen embraced the light of Ahlul Bayt and converted to Shia Islam in the cultural and Islamic center of Ayatollah Shirazi in Montreal, Canada. Let's watch a report. Our hearts are clean slates which reflect the light of God Almighty to all its creation. Therefore, to embrace this light, the thirsty hearts and curious minds should be drawn to the elevated nature of genuine Islam and the culture of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. In recent days, and with the efforts of some religious activists in Canada, a young Canadian citizen who had done researches about Islam and its different branches came to the Islamic center of Ayatollah Shirazi in the city of Montreal in Canada and converted to Shia Islam. This young Shia convert took the Shahada in the presence of Sheikh Sibawai, a representative of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in this country. In a message released by SRW, this human rights organization demanded all Islamic countries to take appropriate measures in order to uphold the glorious waymarks of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in these countries. Shia Rights Watch hinted that the great character of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, is sacred to all Muslims from all sects and therefore, the Islamic governments should respect these ceremonies. Shia Rights Watch, a human rights organization dedicated for protecting the rights of Shia Muslims across the world, has demanded the Arab and Islamic countries to create appropriate atmospheres in order to revive the waymarks and legacies of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in the two upcoming months of Muharram and Safar. This organization also added that the Muslim countries should declare this support for the Shia Muslims for this great task to take place. In part of the message which was forwarded by SRW to Arab and Islamic countries embassies in Washington, we read, This organization calls for more activities in creating good atmospheres for upholding the waymarks of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in all Islamic countries. As this historical event is sacred to Muslim population, especially in the months of Muharram and Safar. This message also reads, It is a legal and moral responsibility for all the governments to provide security and freedom in social and religious grounds. It also added, Shia Muslims are citizens of their countries and therefore, they should receive the same rights and legal frameworks as others. This message by SRW also hinted that some incidents which targeted the ceremonials of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in previous years, highlight the need for more efforts in order to guarantee security and support for those who attend these ceremonies. In the end, Shia Rights Watch organization mentioned that it has sent other messages to the embassies of Islamic and Arab countries and requested them to reassure the safety of Shia Muslims and their right to freely hold religious ceremonials, especially in the day of Ashura. <laughs> Islamic centers and mosques have an influential and very important roles in introducing the real face of Islam to the entire world. 
This important fact has always been emphasized by the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, who demanded all Muslim individuals to clarify on the true nature of Islam. In this part of the program, I invite you to watch a detailed report of Imam Ali Center, an Islamic center dependent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the U.S. به پیروی از فرمایشات مرحوم آیت الله العظما شیرازی اعلی الله مقامه شریف Following the orders of late grand jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, may Allah elevate his rank on universalizing the Ahlul Bayt and Shia culture and his emphasis on spreading out the voice of Ahlul Bayt and their rightfulness to the world. In the year 2000, a center called a Rasul Islamic Center was established at Washington, D.C and was opened by his son Ayatollah Sayyid Murtaza Shirazi, who was in Washington at that time. By the grace of Allah Almighty and Ahl al-Bayt, people got familiar with this center and its activities, and a big number of lovers and followers of Ahl al-Bayt rushed to this center. Then this center became a place to give services to the Shiites. The building could place about 200 people inside, which was enough at the beginning. But after the people showed more interest, we faced some problems, and we decided to move to a bigger place. After searching and investigating a lot about the different places and in different areas, we bought this new building and named it Imam Ali, peace be upon him, center which is located 7900 Black Lake Road. Under the consideration of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, and the constant follow-ups of the grand jury Sayyidullah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, who asked the different friends whom we are in touch with, or sometimes that are personally consult with him for the different reasons, and he gives us some pieces of advice. Thanks Allah, we have been able to have a good activity in the area so that if you ask anybody in Washington about Imam Ali Center, they all know the address and there is no need to give the address of the center to the people or inform them about the programs they are going to take part. At the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan or the month of Muharram, people know about the programs that Imam Ali Center is going to have. Among our vast activities, I can mention the establishment of the global network of Anwar al Hussein in 1430 after the grand jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, in his famous speech in the Night of Ashura, indicated on having networks to promote the Ahlul Bayt culture. Thanks Allah, we have had a lot of progress because the language we're using is English to have the most influence on the American society. We have seen a lot of people converted to Islam and became Shiite and started following the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them. We have had the educational and training programs for them. During these 10 years, we managed to establish four weekend schools in this center, one of which is Rojd Weekend School that has around 120 students who basically decided to rent a state school and have the educational programs such as ethics, Islamic laws, Tajweed and Islamic queries. The second school 
The school of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, which is for the Persian speakers specially. And their programs are on Fridays from 5 in the afternoon till 9 at night. And they study four hours some subjects such as Quran, Tajweed, religious queries, and ethics in Persian. The third school is the school of Hazrat Ruqayya, peace be upon her, which is open on Saturdays from 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. This school is for the Arab Muslims, usually from Iraq, Lebanon, Kuwait. They take their children to this school to learn religious subjects. The fourth school, which is in Urdu, is the school of Lady Zahra al Mardia, peace be upon her. We have been able to train generation, and Allah willing, we will see the result in the future. Another activity we tend to is printing, publishing, and distributing religious, social, and cultural books. We could establish a good network in this context, and we are in contact with many centers by sending them our books. Hold the Friday prayer in the center is among the programs we have. And on the contrary to what Americans say, that they spend their weekend resting, we spend our weekends doing our religious activities. I mean, from the Thursday nights, we start the Kumail prayer, and on the Friday morning, Nodba prayer, and then Friday prayer, and in the evening, the Persian programs, and on Saturday, we have the speech given in Arabic, and thanks Allah, four days of a week, we have full-time religious programs. Taking part in different conferences in different states, like Omme Conference, which has been able to have a good progress in six or seven years, and every year is held in one of the states of the U.S. The Conference of the North American Scholars, and every year, an invitation is sent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi's office in Washington. Considering the people's issues, such as marriage and divorce, and having vigil ceremonies during the Ramadan nights. The majority of our activities in this area is related to the morning ceremonies of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and following the Grand Jury Sayyidullah Shirazi, we tried our best to have a comprehensive program in this context, and every program is held in four languages. <laughs> خانم دستور میده فرزندش میرسه از را فرزند دمای یک دونه بوز همه سرمانه ما را تشکیل میدهد در ابتدای هم مقداری The Urdu section is on the ground floor of Imam Ali Center, which is called Ar Rasul Center, with the same dimension. And also for the Arab brothers, we have considered two halls. Additionally, we have programs for every occasion in English. It doesn't get to anywhere. Why I'm not successful? Because we want the success. We want people's respect. We want all our problem to be solved because of ourselves, not because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ali says, become the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will make the earth and whatever it is on earth to become your servant. مثلا ازاداری سینه‌زری، ازاداری 
And we have different morning ceremonies freely. Besides those four programs, we have three separate programs. In fact, for every occasion of Muharram, we have seven programs, and three of them are especially for the ladies. Thanks Allah, we have succeeded so far about Husseini rituals and it has been able to have a positive impact in the area. We have seen some people who are not among the believers, but they used to take part in our ceremonies and notice the enthusiasm in the morning ceremonies. And in a city like Washington, which is the capital city of the U.S., the most powerful country in the world. And how far the distance from our center to the White House is something around 10 or 15 minutes. We can hold our programs and our morning ceremonies and present our culture freely and safely. And there were so many people who were not believers and they had a lot of problems, but by taking part in our ceremonies and programs could solve their problems. We use Ayatollah Shirazi's website frequently for it is an active and live website. It answers many of the people's questions and teaches them. And we have been able to have a wave of Imam Hussein's rituals in the area. The American's viewpoints about Islam, especially Ahl al is changed and now Imam Hussein in the US. And now we're going to watch the most important news all around the world regarding Ayatollah Shirazi in the next part of our program, News in Brief. Muharram cultural gathering held in Baghdad. On the month of Muharram, the Shirazi followers' office has held a cultural gathering for women to discuss the women's role in upholding the rituals and waymarks of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in the capital, Baghdad. In this gathering, which hosted the number of female students of seminaries and universities, a teacher at Columbia Seminary delivered a lecture and spoke about the great role of Lady Zainab, peace be upon her, in perfecting Imam Hussein uprising after the day of Ashura. This lecture also contained the instructions and guidelines by the Grand I told her she was here about women to participate in activities about Imam Hussein legacies. New issue of Reply to Islamic Queries published. With the efforts of Ayatollah Shirazi Center for Answering Religious Questions, the newest issue of the journal Reply to Islamic Queries was published. The 218th issue of this journal contains the statements of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, series of religious questions and answers based on Ayatollah Shirazi viewpoints, and some religious, cultural, and ethical articles. This journal is published in Arabic and is available in Arab and Islamic countries. Members of Ahmad Bihar Institute and Islamic Cultural Center visit Husseiniyas. Simultaneously with the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in the month of Muharram, Mr. Ba'ir al Wazni, the head of Ahmad Bihar Institute, and Sheikh Ali Mujahid, the head of Islamic Cultural Center for Holy Karbala, as well as some religious activists, visited Husseiniyas and religious communities. During these visits, the precious instructions of the Grand Jury Saitullah Shirazi were highlighted. Ahmad Bihar Institute also distributed financial aids to these religious communities and Husseiniyas. Members of Shirazi followers' office meet with commanders of Qatar Brigade. Mr. Ali Sarwai and some other members of Shirazi followers' office attended at a camping site of the Qatar Baghdad Brigade and met with the commander of this brigade. During this visit, the head of Shirazi followers' office appreciated the sacrifice and efforts by this military brigade and gave out a series of grand Ayatollah Shirazi publications to these people. Baghdad Qatar forces are now stationed in suburbs of Kalimiya and provide security to pilgrims and religious communities. <laughs> Thank you for watching us. For more information on our daily news about Marjayat, you can visit marjayattv.com and its official web pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until the next episode, may Allah preserve you. Bye for now.